have a good day to everyone uh, today the topic is uh, supervised learning and unsupervised learning in the concept of machine learning let us start with an example i have to calculate the distance between myself and uh, subway near to me so i call the siri then so siri analyze and is converted into a uh, binaries so that can be decoded with the help of the machine learning and the neural network algorithm then they process the input software processing they provide the necessary output then the siri provided the subway is 4 km away from the current location so this is how uh, artificial intelligence uh, working uh, normally in this machine learning algorithms it can be classified into uh, two main categories uh, that is a uh, supervised and uh, unsupervised so during that supervised uh, so it is trained with the labeled data but in case of unsupervised we are going to train with an unlabeled data so we already discussed that that machine learning is a subset from that uh, artificial intelligence and uh, they can uh, mimic like humans the past data it analyzes that past data so when the data is processed now so the system uh, learns from the past data so it can uh, predict the output based on the decisions and the past uh, data already we trained that model this is the main two classifications of the machine learning uh, one is supervised learning and uh, unsupervised learning of the supervised learning so uh, labeled data is provided here uh, in this different structures it is trained with this rectangle circle triangle hexagon so every input is trained with a labeled data when we provided the test data means automatically uh, based on its uh, past training it provides the output correctly it helps to predict with the data sets of label condition this model is the known data the known response provided to the model given a new data means it automatically detects that is a spoon the main two types involved in supervised learning is classification here it answers the questions yes or no or uh, true or false second type is uh, regression so if one variable is changing means automatically if there is a change in one variable that can be associated with the another one variable so this is how the classification works so identify whether the mail is a sperm content or not we are providing the sperm filtering so the system learns so when a new mail arrives means it automatically scans all the content then it provide in the two categories whether that mail is a sperm mail or not in that second type of supervised learning is that regression here the temperature it's a simple example that keeps on changing so the system learns from the condition and when a new temperature is provided mean automatically it can predict the humidity level the main domain where the supervised learning has been used are risk assessment techniques and the classification of images uh, for fraud detection also we can use this supervised learning and uh, for uh, visual recognition which means the object recognition and pattern recognition identification of the objects everything we can use this supervised concept uh, unsupervised this is one clear example a person is going to uh, buy some uh, fruits and vegetables at the time a customer who is bought this item they also going to bought the same so based on this uh, clustering based classification it performing a person who are buying this banana they buy these things also so here in this unsupervised learning uh, here also we provided the known data to the model so it helps to recognize their patterns and it provide the necessary response clustering is one main type of this unsupervised learning in this type of clustering it divide the objects into cluster and based on the similarities and dissimilarities it classified them and the second type in unsupervised is associated rule here uh, based on the probability of occurrence of the items present in the collection it uh, classifies them one small example is that so when a company wants to reduce its customer churn rate by providing the internet usage and total call duration here some may be using the data but they haven't used their uh, calls a lot so we have to identify them the call duration and internet usage graph some may be uh, use the calls a lot but some may be mainly using their internet usage so based on the clustering rule we segregate them here normally this model segments the customer with the similar traits so the members in the group b normally have the high amount of internet usage and they having very low call duration so the company can clearly understand what are the best methods suits for them in this category of c they are having a very less usage of uh, internet but they having a high high call duration usage so a is using both the categories of call duration and the internet usage so we can segregate the customers so the telecompany 
sorry uh, the telecom company easily identify the type of customers who are uh, using uh, both the internet call duration and uh, any of them are using uh, either uh, call duration or internet usage here in this associative role uh, we can find customer 1 buying uh, bread milk fruits and wheat and customer 2 is buying a uh, bread milk rice and butter what automatically customer 3 buy we have to find them here you can see them a person who is buying bread automatically buying milk new customer buying a bread means automatically is likely to purchase milk so based on the customer 1 and the customer 2 it predicts the data so uh, this unsupervised learning is more popular so, so based on the market basket analysis uh, and uh, semantic clustering methods so on delivery store optimizations uh, and identifying uh, accident in the prone zone areas we can using this concept of super learning so we can summarize this uh, normally this uh, supervised learning is a labeled data this is an unlabeled data it is always having a feedback mechanism for this supervised concept but it doesn't have any feedback mechanism type so the common algorithms that we are using in supervised learning is a uh, decision tree uh, logistic regression support vector machine etc so here in case of uh, unsupervised learning uh, we can use a uh, clustering type such as a uh, k-means clustering hierarchical clustering and a priori algorithm uh, thank you for watching the video meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay